good evening. This is Charles Chedu Odu of Cordell and Charlton, your real estate firm that cares. I'm excited to do yet another video for my viewers. And today I'll be sharing something awesome and it is safety. I hope you can read this. Safety in your real estate space. I'll be sharing safety measures that you can apply in your real estate space. Wherever you find yourself, either where you live or where you operate your business, there are little safety tips that if you adhere to, I'm sure they might just be lifesavers for you. But before I proceed, I would want to thank those who have liked and those who have shared our videos. I want to let you know that we appreciate it. So at the end of this video, still do me a favor by liking and sharing it. And I particularly want to thank those who commented. Um, I, the, the comment from Ifa, Ifena Ezechuku in Lagos. Yes, I appreciate your comment. Rins Opago, I appreciate your comment. Tokumba Dele, I appreciate your comment. And Tina Obodaga, I want to tell you, I love you all. I love all comments, all those I can't mention, but all comments. I appreciate and we'll dive straight into this short video and share some safety tips that I believe would help someone out there the first one is I would call it wells I'll, I'll start with this one because particularly I can relate to it sometimes some years back um, a friend of mine he went to have a haircut with his son and while having the haircut he didn't pay particular attention to where the son was playing and when he was done he started looking for his son somewhere in Lagos, Nigeria and everybody joined him to start looking for his son unknowing to them the son while playing fell into a well that had been abandoned um, it wasn't really abandoned because it had water in it the long and short of it all is that the son fell into the well and the son died a two-year-old boy died in a real estate asset that had a well that was not attended to so if there's a well in your premises or around your real estate asset or any real estate asset that you inhabit ensure that the well is properly locked and if it's no more in use it should be filled with earth and sealed to avoid that disaster another thing i would like to share is the balcony some of us have balconies in our real estate assets or where we live you have to be careful about the balcony always check the integrity of the balcony to be sure that it is strong and firm because sometimes you unconsciously lean on those balconies and you can easily fall off if the integrity of that balcony is questionable so remember the wells and the balconies another thing is fire extinguishers This is very important. It speaks for itself. If you have an apartment or wherever you live, you need fire extinguishers to be stationed at all entrances and exits. It's a lifesaver. I've had experiences of uh, the, my kitchen almost burning down completely, but because there was a fire extinguisher, you know, that was easily accessible, we averted disaster. So remember always have a fire extinguisher in your house. So if you look around your real estate asset, either it's for lead or you own it, think about having a fire extinguisher. It can be a lifesaver. Another thing that I think is of importance are generators. Because of the societies we live in today and the situation of the Nigerian power sector, 
almost every home has a generator. So you have to be careful about the emissions from the generator because if the generator is emitting carbon monoxide and you're not conscious of the fumes coming into your real estate space, you can pass on in your sleep. It is deadly and it is dangerous. Carbon monoxide poisoning can kill. It has wiped out families and left people in tears and regret. So I will go by it again. The well, very important. Keep it, um, seal it off if you're not using it. If there's no need for it in the, in the environment, cut it off. Then the balcony, ensure that its integrity is positive and when people lean on it, there will be no disaster. Fire extinguishers, very important. It can avert great loss and pain. And generators, it's important to ensure that the fumes being emitted from the generator doesn't pose any threat to life in your real estate space. And finally, is drainage. Drainage is important. You should personally go around your real estate space. If the drainage is poor, if the drainage is not flowing, if the water is stagnant, stagnant water stains and it can pose health dangers, it can um, cause mosquitoes to breed and you know what mosquitoes do, they are harmful, giving you malaria and making you lose money trying to treat yourself. So it's important that you observe this simple um, yes, yeah, simple safety measures that you can follow and ensure that your real estate space is secure. I want to thank you again for watching this video. I'm hopeful that um, you've learned a thing or two and you can apply it you know, to whatever real estate space that you find yourself. Don't forget to like and share this video. This is Charles Chedu Odu of Coral and Charlton, your real estate firm that cares. If you're thinking of buying a property or selling a property or letting a property, don't forget to visit our website, uh, Buy in Lagos, Rent in Lagos, and the Coral and Charlton website and explore the services that we offer. I want to thank you and see you at the next video.